Well, what I found was that when I was satisfied, I stopped eating, and I was able to either get up and go toss the rest out in the trash or wait till dinner was over and clean up. And I didn't have any problem with that. Mm-hmm. It's been a very good week. And you felt good. And I felt good, yes. Good. Yes. Very good. She did volunteer here last week. And get this out of the way. She volunteered last week, and she came up, and I tapped on her. All right? Now, everybody does it differently in their mind. I want you to realize how you do it is correct for you. How Carolyn does it, or, or Monde does it, or Linda does it, it's all internal representation is how you do it. So it doesn't matter that because it worked with Carolyn, it doesn't work for you. It works for everybody. The deal is inside your mind, you may have other emotional drivers, such as what Mike said. Well, when I was a kid, this was sacred. It's like gold. Well, if he still has those emotions with it, those emotions need to be tapped away. That's what we're looking for. What is it that's preventing you? Guys, it's not that you're a failure or a success. Everything you do is based on what you internally hold. What we want to do is tap it, clear it out. Now, even while I'm working up here and I'm working with somebody, you're going to get some changes at some unconscious level or conscious level. And it may be that one layer is being peeled back. And maybe another layer will be peeled back. Again, it's persistence, being persistent, being persistent, being persistent. Guys, there is no failure in this unless you give yourself a time period. If you say, okay, I've got six weeks for this to work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go back to the food. Well, guess what? You've already gave yourself a limitation, and it may or may not work. Guys, you have a lifetime. Failure only means you give yourself a limited amount of time. I've got this one time to make it work. If it doesn't work, it won't work. Well, guys, you've already limited yourself. You have a lifetime. Use this and use it and use it and use it and use it. And eventually, you'll get your results. You know, I don't know if some of you may have heard about Colonel Sanders. You know, he's make, his retirement came in as like $99 a month. And he had this chicken recipe. And he went to these different restaurants and tried to get them to take this recipe and give him the, the extra revenue that he, they would make off the chicken recipe. And he went to 999 different people, and they kept saying no. But it was his persistence the thousand person they took his recipe and now we see kfc's everywhere isn't that true all right it's because of persistence guys you're not a failure if you're overweight you're not because if i had those same exact programs inside me you know what i would be overweight so it's the programs that we have installed based on our experiences so if you don't like what you have now first love yourself First, give your right, yourself the right to learn. That's it. And then you ask yourself, what's really driving the bus? What is it inside me that's making me act and feel the way I do? And then look for it and then start attacking it with your tapping process, releasing the emotions there because it's always emotions. It's always a feeling. It's always a program. It's always something that we've learned or picked up from our experiences. We want control. That's it. Make sense? All right. Uh, It's along the line of answering what she's saying. When the body is stressed, you release cortisol. When you release cortisol, it triggers the body to store fat and not burn it. Mm -hmm. When the body is not stressed, then it can burn its own, its fat stores. Mm -hmm. So this works hand in hand. So you could starve yourself but be under stress, and it's very hard to burn the fat. That's right. Definitely. You have to understand, there's two ways of looking at things. The reason why you're fat is because you have cortisol. The reason why you're fat is because you have, have bad fat genes. The reason why you're fat is because you're thyroid. The reason why you're fat is because of the food. Guys, it's none of those. The reason why you put on weight is because you eat when you're not hungry. That's why. You eat when you're not hungry. That's it. And so if you're eating because it's 5 o'clock and it's time to eat, you eat because it's 12 o'clock and your body says, I'm not hungry. And you eat, you're violating the most sacred part of yourself, which is your body. We've got to learn to love our bodies. We've got to be in, a, in, uh, in tune with our inner self. That's the key. It, that's what I'm pointing to. All, the whole thing is going back inside you. Why are you eating? What emotions you're feeling? Release it, tap it, tap it, tap it, clear it out. I highly recommend getting a friend uh, uh, like y'all two tap together. If, if y'all have issues tapping with each other, 
Find you someone to tap with. Say, hey, you know, I'm really stressed today. I need someone to help me tap. I need to let go of this. And Leighton may call Amber. And Amber and Leighton talking on the phone. And, and a Amber saying, well, I just feel really upset because of my husband. And Leighton says, well, just think about it. Let it bother you. And then let's tap on it together. Or whatever. Because, guys, emotional intelligence is the key. Releasing the stress and emotions. Okay? Sure. Since I've been doing this, that food tastes different like before you could think of the food and you can you could taste it you'd salivate you could smell it but now it just it tastes good but it doesn't have that same pull as it did before and you, I would eat you know whatever I wanted because that's what I felt like eating but it just didn't have that same type of taste pulling me to it like it did before that emotional power yeah I just thought that was Strange because that's never happened to me before. Every time that's what we eat? No. Oh, no. Since I started this. Oh. If you believe that if you lose weight, you'll be healthier, you could be. Uh, you may look better. You may buy cheaper clothes and you may have a healthier, healthier body. But guys, there are people who weigh the weight you want to weigh and they're in miserable health condition. There are people who weigh the weight you want to weigh, and they can't even attract a fly. Now, I, I want you to understand that. There are people who weigh your weight and are bad examples in the world. There are people who weigh the way you, the way you would like to weigh, and they may be able to fit in their furniture, but they, they, they're unhappy, they're tormented, because they have not changed the key, and that is how you feel about yourself. The size will not solve your emotional problems. The amount of weight that you weigh will not fix how you treat yourself on the inside. The whole key of this seminar is to take emotional intelligence, releasing the stress and emotions. Does that make sense? It's what you do inside. And that's why Stephanie and Michelle both lost weight because they addressed their emotional states. They started to like themselves. Michelle was a, is a goofy girl. She says, I do goofy things. My MySpace is goofy. I do goofy stuff. And you know what? I like myself. That's the key. Learn to love who you are. All right? Now, let's say, for example, now, how many of you know? I mean, you love food. Isn't that right? And you, there's a lot of food you really enjoy. Isn't that true? Mm -hmm. What we normally would do is we would feel sad and bored. We had this feeling... And you feel this feeling, and so what you'd do is you'd run over here, you'd eat. All right, now, if, if, you're, not an, if you're not an eater and you're a smoker, you're, you have this feeling, and you'd go over here and smoke. But if you're not a smoker and you're not an eater, you'll run over here and you will drink. Or, or you'll do all of those. <laughs> or, or, you, or you will work your tail off, try to avoid what's on the inside. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. Now, for some people, they are diverse enough, they can do all of them at once. I mean, if they had enough arms, they would be eating, smoking, drinking, toking, whatever. Because, see, the, does that kind of make sense? They will use whatever they... F and so here they have this feeling inside. And they're running outside to try to solve what's inside. Do you see that? What we want to do is... Feel the feeling. Release the emotional charge. If you release the emotional charge while you're here, you will not ever use anything outside you because you realize and you know logically food has no emotions in it. You know logically that eating food will not solve any of your problems. Smoking cigarettes never solved any problems. Uh, killing people will never solve any of your problems. I mean, it temporarily, but what happens is I catch you and then you're in the, in the room with Bubba or whatever, you know. <laughs> so what we want to realize is that your problems is inside you and the only way you're going to solve it is go inside, release it. That's what the tapping does. No matter how much food you eat, it will never solve this problem. But if you're always trying to escape your feelings and you're going to eat, and the more you have problems, the more you eat, guess what happens? This creates a bigger problem, doesn't it? And then all of a sudden, since you've been using this to try to solve what's in here, which you can never do, then all of a sudden you have all these horrible feelings still inside you, and you judge yourself and condemn yourself by what you've been doing. 
You see it? So we have to take full ownership, guys, of what you feel inside. The reason why we want the happy journal, and we're going to use the happy journal, because when you go back to the memories that have positive experiences, guess what happens when you remember them? You feel them. You automatically change your emotional state. That's where your power is. Now, what we want to do is we don't want to just use that to escape what we have in here. We want to internally release what we do inside. The negative first, affirm what you do want. Make sense? Okay.